to go on, got his funny story. He said, I'm going to tell you. There, there was a man at the gate. Uh, he'd been there for hundred years. He really was just like an old totem pole. Now, but you couldn't, you couldn't get into MGM without his letting you through, you know. So for a few years, I had to walk through, and he always stopped me. And I'd say, oh, my name is Judy Garland. He'd say, you're, you're not on the list. <laughs> so I'd, he'd say, I'll have to call a couple of people. Or I think well, I'm going to be late for school while he calls a couple. So I was always late. And finally, after being there for... 16 years, I was at Metro, and absolutely terrified, terrified, all 16 years. You know, it really was brainwash time. And uh, I, they fired me, and I was very happy about it. But I wanted to get a few things out of my dressing room, personal things, you know, my own things. And I went back with my own car, and I was wheeling into Metro, and he said, just a minute, same man. <laughs> and I said, now, honey, you know, we've done this Fandango for so many years. I'm not trying to get into a film. I'm not trying to just want to get in and get my things out of my dressing room. And he said, you're not on the list. <laughs> and they really never let me in. They wouldn't. I never got my things out of my room. You never did? No, I couldn't get them.